But you see, the problem I think is that people worry too much. Go you dumb some. 好多主意叻擺喺擔心度啦，所以咧就基本上個大腦啦係冇咩能力啦，去真係去捉住要捉住啲信息咯。誒、嗯，過於擔心係絕對會破壞你嘅學習嘅結果啦。你好啊，我係 Wayne， 我好幸運可以同六個月學會任何一種語言嘅作者、語言學家龍飛虎進行一個對話。我亦都問咗佢好多問題，成個對話都超過一個鐘嘅。我而家就分享 part one 先啦。係啊，係啊。嗯、um, ，我好多年幫助佢哋高級人士啦，喺公司咧解決佢哋嘅溝通問題咧，佢嘅情緒不穩定嘅問題咧，佢個戰略思維問題啦，都都有參與過啦。嗯。The problem, the problem is that、uh, people have had phobias created in them. Like growing up, going through school, it's not okay to make mistakes,、mm -hmm. right? You get 95% in your exams, you go home, you get beaten up by parents because it wasn't 100%, right? So there's this culture which says making mistakes is a problem, but the only way you learn anything meaningful is to make mistakes, fall over, pick yourself up, try again.、Um, notice. How what you did was different to what you wanted, and just just make a change. So there there are some processes you can use to just clean up the fear, and it just you don't worry about it anymore.、Mm. All right. So some some psychology processes that work very well for that. But you see, the problem I think is that people worry too much. Go you dumb some, 好多注意力摆喺担心度啦。所以咧就基本上个。大腦啦，係冇咩能力啦，去真係去捉住要捉住啲信息咯。嗯，過於擔心係絕對會破壞你嘅學習嘅結果啦。Just speak, so you just speak, and if you get it wrong, they go what? What? What are you, what are you saying? What? 唔明啊。And then、uh, you ask them, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so you know,、uh, and, and what will sometimes happen? Like just what happened when you and I started talking, you saw my my Caucasian face,、mm -hmm. and then you knew I spoke Chinese, and you were really confused about which language to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, and that I've seen that happen before. So. Uh, what 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 will sometimes happen? Like I'm in Hong Kong. I'm. 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 咁佢哋嘅反應係嚇，你講乜？咁佢點解咧？佢睇我個面啦、啊，好似西人啦、啊，咁西人唔識講中文啦、啊，所以佢嘅反應啊係佢唔識聽我講嘅英文。<笑> right? So so communication breakdown will happen for all sorts of different reasons, and it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem with what you said. Right? But in any case,、um, start simple. Right? So you, you go to a restaurant. Okay, and you just say, "Hey, full art." Okay,、yeah. and right, and then、um, you may have type high, right? You may have type high. So,、uh -huh. right, so okay. So just now, what you notice is I slowed down a little bit, and you got it.、Mm -hmm. Right. So you need to learn how to say, "You can speak a little faster." 不好意思，我刚刚开始学，我听得不太清楚，请你说的慢一点儿。Right, so you you learn some little tools like that, and then you start using them. Oh man, there's too many things.、Um, they, they, yeah, too many. They, 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 well, for a start, they treat it as a subject of study rather than a tool for communication. Right. Se secondly, they try to be perfect and speak as adults before they have gone through the process of growing up as a child.、Mm -hmm. um, they tend to focus on reading and writing and ignore listening and speaking.、Um, they try to be perfect and organize everything into long, complex sentences before they can say simple phrases with three words. Um, so it's pretty much everything about the way they learn is wrong.
uh, they try to learn thousands and thousands of words because they believe that the key to speaking fluently is a big vocabulary. And what they miss is that, yes, a big vocabulary is good and trying to just build a big vocabulary before you build all of the other skills is a losing game. Right, so you need to build a skill where you hear something in the language and you immediately internally you know what it is, you know what it means. You don't translate. But they learn all their vocab through translation. So then when they're speaking, they're trying to translate word for word as you go. And you can't do that because one word in Chinese will have ten different words for it in English, each with a slightly different angle and the other way around. So if, you, if you're trying to always translate, you're never going to be able to speak and the processing requirement for the brain is just too high, you can't keep up. So you, you actually need to go to the basis of language, which is a patent recognition system, right? You recognize patterns and you respond to those patterns internally with your whole neurology and then you come back out with sounds to reflect to the outside what's going on inside. And that's the process for learning, for, for using any language and you have to do the same thing with a new language. Mm. Right, so, so it's just the whole premise upon which most people try to learn a language is wrong. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. And that's the other mistake people make. They're trying to make it really complicated when it's not. Right? Even grammar. You don't even need to worry about grammar. Mm -hmm. All right? Grammar is simply, it's either the order of words or the choice of words to communicate certain types of meaning. And you hear those over and over again and you can actually just pattern recognize. So this pattern internally needs to have this representation. And that's, that's all you really need to know. Okay? So in, in Mandarin, le. 你吃饭了吗? 吃了 Okay, so when you hear that 了, you, you, you basically just need to feel, oh, that's back there, happened already. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're connecting that sound of 了 to 已经过后了, 已经过后了. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, in Cantonese, 左了, right? They said 左没 Right? Now, you're not thinking, as a Cantonese speaker, you're not thinking about the grammar of that. You're just hearing that sound, and you know that it's referring to completed actions, right? That's it. That, that's all you need to do. So even grammar, you learn by connecting, pattern recognizing and connecting to internal representations of meaning. And that's it.